guys, what's up? So today I am gonna be filming. What am I gonna be filming? Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. So today I am filming a kitchen apartment essentials haul. I don't know why I can't say that fast. Apartment essentials haul kitchen edition. So I just moved into my apartment in Brooklyn. I have a whole apartment tour live on my channel. If you want to check it out, I'll link it down below. It's an empty apartment tour. Haven't decorated yet, but that's all coming soon. Um, so I realized while moving in here that there's just so much that you need to move into a new place. And every day I'm like, I need something new. I have to order it. So these are just like the 15 things that I had moving in here that were totally necessary and lifesavers should just already have and be like settled and moved into the space. So, okay, let's start. Number one are my utensil jars. Now, it might seem a little crazy to keep your utensils in a jar, but I live in a New York City apartment and there are two drawers in this entire kitchen and they're not wide enough to even put like a, a utensil rack in. So, you have to get creative. So I got this jar from Target. Most of the things in this video are from Target and I'm gonna link everything in the description box down below. Um, but I got this jar from Target and just put all of my utensils in here. So, knives, spoons, forks, I have a little whisk in here, my metal straws, all of it. And then, I found this other jar. This is actually, I think, a flower vase. I stole it, well I didn't steal it, I took it from my family's house. Um, and I just thought it was really cute and kind of unique and eclectic, which is a lot of the vibe that I'm going for once I start decorating the space. So I put more stuff in here, like spatula, um, spoon, tongs, little like strainer, all of the stuff that you really need for a kitchen and I'm keeping it in there. And then also just wanted to show, I got these measuring spoons and these measuring cups um, from Target. They're the Joanna Gaines collection line and they're so cute. I love them. So these are the spoons, little measuring spoons. They have this little leather strap at the end and same for the measuring cups. So cute. They were, they were really inexpensive but also these are just things that you kind of need in a kitchen and you don't realize until you, and you don't realize until you are like, oh, I need a measuring cup, like I don't have one. And actually these I use every morning when I make my matcha. I use the half tablespoon scoop to scoop in the matcha powder. Another thing I wanted to point out that I keep in here are these metal straws. I have more of them, but they're in the dishwasher. So these straws I got on Amazon about two years ago and they've lasted. They came in a pack of 12. I have all of them um, and they've lasted for so long. They come in different sizes. They come like bent or straight and they come with this little pipe cleaner as well so you can clean them when you're reusing them. They are so amazing. So I love these. They save a ton of money. I don't have to buy straws ever. I bought this one 12 pack two years ago and I've had them ever since and they just create less waste. Um, and I will link the exact ones that I got down below. Okay, so next up is the dish rack and dish mat I got. So I got this dish mat from Target. It's just like a simple gray color and it's kind of like um, padded. So I just lay this out on the outer top whenever I'm taking my dishes out of the dishwasher and putting them to dry. And then if I have a ton of dishes, I will use this dish rack that I got. It's like a bamboo uh, wood dish rack and it folds up, which is like a great space saver. So I just pop this part open, pop this open, and then put it on top of the dish rack. And then, you know, I can obviously unload all my dishes onto here. So I really love this because it's a really good space saver. I don't leave it on the countertop whenever I'm done with it. I just fold it up and I stack it behind all of these jars and the blender. Um, the only kind of negative thing I've heard about bamboo dish racks is that sometimes they hold mold because of the water that gets into the wood, but I just wipe it down every time I'm done with it and dry it off and I haven't had any problems with it. Okay. Next is this blender. This is an Oster blender. It's like a super cheap brand. It's nothing special, um, but I thought I would point it out because I've had a few blenders recently that were like just 
horrible, didn't blend, didn't do anything. And like in lieu of buying a really expensive one, like the Vitamix, which I know is like $300. And if that's not in your price range, that's fine. This blender was $40. I make a smoothie every single morning and I, I don't have any problems with it. It blends up all the food, it's super easy to use, and it just like actually blends the food, which is what you want in a smoothie. I also got this at Target. Um, and yeah, just like a really good inexpensive blender option. Next up on the list of things you literally just would never think about needing, but you do need dish gloves and dish towels. So obviously that's not like a fun thing that you think about when you move into a place, but it's ne it's a necessity. So I got these both at Target. I think I got these in a two pack for like $12. And then these were probably like three or $4. These are just super sustainable. They'll last for like a really long time. You don't have to buy like reusable plastic gloves or you don't just have to like use your hands and dry them out. I just keep these um, on the sink and use them whenever I do the dishes or load the dishwasher. And then I just keep this hanging from the oven. There's like a little handle. So in case I ever need to just dry something off really quick, I just use that. Okay, my green can. Now, I needed a pasta pot moving in here because I only had kind of like really tiny pots from my old place or frying pans, which are all great, but I needed something to cook like big meals in. And this is a green pan, which means like all of the coating on this and inside the pan is totally non-toxic. It's like super good for you so you can cook your food in it and feel safe. Also, it's not stick, like it's just, it's a really good pot. It sounds weird to get excited about a pot, but it is good. And actually one of my favorite parts about it is that it has kind of like a pasta strainer built into it. So you can see these little holes here and it has it on the other side also. And and once you line the holes up with the little spout, you can just take this whole pot, dump it in the sink, and all the water will strain out of it and your pasta will still be in here. So it's like honestly one less thing to buy. You don't even have to buy a strainer because you have the pot with the strainer in it. So I really needed a knife set, but I didn't want to go too crazy expensive. And also when I went to Target, I didn't love like the aesthetic of most of the wood, um, most of the knife sets, they were just kind of like, I, they were just ugly for lack of a better word so I wanted a wood block and I do have like kind of a small kitchen space so I got this Barberware set um, two of the knives are watching right now but it comes with six basic knives and then a bunch of other sharper bigger knives and a scissors so I just sit this at the end of the counter over there and it's actually pretty small but it does the trick it doesn't take up too much space and it was $20 this next item it's not a necessity, it's a nice to have. But I was in Target and you, know, you can't go to Target without buying something that you don't really need. So, I got this candle, it's, I don't even know really how to say this, cardamom and vetiver. Cardamom and vetiver, I think is the scent. It smells so good. It's one of the candles from Joanna Gaines um, line and I honestly just thought it would be like a really cute touch to have in the kitchen. I haven't burned it yet because it's summer in New York and it's just really hot. But once it gets like to fall, I'm gonna just keep this in the counter and it's gonna create a really nice scent in the kitchen. It smells really good. Okay, moving on to more things that you would not really think that you need, but you absolutely do need, a step stool. <laughs> so I got this step stool from Target. It is three steps. And it's honestly the lightest thing ever. Like when I bought it, it had a little tag on it that said like, I'm light as a feather. And it is, which is good because I'm tiny and I don't wanna be lifting heavy things. So I use this, I mean, I use this for everything. <laughs> I use it to put up my curtains. I use it if the um, smoke detector goes off. Like I use it to reach the really high parts of the cabinets. If you're short, especially, you need a step stool. And I don't think this was really expensive either. In keeping with that theme, the other things that you need that are like not super fun, a Swiffer, Swiffer mop and sweeper. This is the one where you can put like the wet pads or the dry pads on the bottom of it. I got this at Target and I got the wet pads and dry pads as well. So this is just, you need this in your kitchen and in your apartment. And then I also got a broom and dust pan. Um, this is from Amazon 
It comes in a small box, like deconstructed and folded up, so you can just carry it over to your apartment and like assemble it. It takes two seconds, and it's pretty small, um, so I just like kind of stick this in the corner, and I never see it, but I have it when I need it. So these next things are things I all got from Grove Collaborative. If you've ever heard of Thrive Market, it's kind of like that, but for like household products um, that are all more either like sustainable or eco-friendly or non-toxic, all of that kind of stuff. They have like a monthly subscription where you can buy them online and they ship it directly to your house. So I got a whole big first order when I moved to the apartment and I just took the whole box with me and brought everything to the apartment. Um, and these are some of the things that came in it that I use in the kitchen every day. So I got these dishwasher detergent packs. They're mostly plant-based and I use just one in the dishwasher every day. Um, and I run it every night and I mean, they're dishwasher pods, but you need these. I also got this um, Mrs. Meyers soap. So this is the Mrs. Meyers dish soap. I also got the hand soap, which I put in the bathroom and then I just keep this by the sink and use it for any dishes. And also if I need to wash my hands, then I just use this at the sink. Um, also with that, he sent me a two pack of sponges. They are the walnut and cellulose scrubber sponges. So they're made from like recycled fibers and plant-based materials. So they're just better than like your normal everyday sponge. And last but not least, I use this every day to clean my countertops, literally every day. So this is their essential cleaner set. It came with three different um, cleaning concentrates. And the one that I use the most is the multi-purpose cleaner, which I have in here. So you just pour the whole concentrate bottle into their glass spray bottle and then fill it up with water. And every day I just shake it up. You can see there's like still a ton in there. And I spray down my countertops with it, it has essential oils in it. It just keeps everything clean and smelling really good. And also like it just for me gives me peace of mind because it's all non-toxic. It's not like cleaning your countertop with like a much more harsh chemical. I just really like everything that I'm using to be non-toxic and like mostly plant-based. Um, just so I know I'm coming to contact with way less chemicals than I need to be. Okay, so this is like pretty basic, but one thing that I've always liked to do living in New York City apartments is get a really inexpensive trash can. I got this from Target. It's like the Room Essentials trash can. It's, I think it was like $10, and I just put it under the sink. So it's a really big space saver, and then you don't have to have your trash can like out in your living space. It just lives under the sink. Some other things that I really like to have in my kitchen are these stasher bags. These are like reusable Ziploc bags. So you can kind of see like this is like a regular bag and then it has the kind of like Ziploc closing top. But you can reuse it as many times as you need and you can put it in the dishwasher. And also I got these um, silicone ice cube trays. So obviously it's filled with ice right now. So I got this at Target and it's, you know, it's not like plastic, it's just nice silicone. So it's good for you and I just refill it and pop it in the freezer every night. Okay, last but not least, and actually most importantly, is my Brita pitcher and my Yeti. So I drink an insane amount of water every day. Um, and every night I just refill this Brita pitcher. This one was given to me by a family member um, and you know I just repurposed it for myself, but you can get these at Target. And I did get the um, filter refills at Target. These are a three pack, so they sell them as well. And then I use this Yeti every single day to drink water. It's stainless steel on the inside, so if you like really, really cold water, you can put an ice cube in here and fill it to the top and it will stay cold all day, I'm telling you. It's like the best way to drink really cold water. Um, and it's reusable, you can pop a straw in the top if you like to drink with a straw. I just drink it like a sippy cup. And yeah, I just refill this probably like four or five times a day if I'm having a good day. Two to three times if we're like not drinking as much water, but this is a 30 ounce version. They also have, I think, a smaller 20 ounce version. And this is just the best way if you want to like get on your water drinking game and stay hydrated, this is the best way to do it. Okay, so those are all of my essential kitchen must-haves for moving into a new apartment. There are definitely other things that you need to get in the future, like probably a microwave, which I still need, and toaster, things like that. So just to get yourself set up in the space and be able to live comfortably for like the first few weeks that you're there, 
I think these are the basic things that you need. Um, I am definitely going to make more videos like this. I'm going to do all of the essential items I have in my bathroom and just like throughout the apartment, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up, stick around and subscribe. I'm going to do a lot more videos like this, tons of um, home decor content, NYC life, sustainable living, all of that stuff. So stick around and subscribe. Thank you guys and I will see you in the next video.